project communication management in the previous video also we have discussed that a project management is nothing but collection of skills tools and techniques which will be applied on the project activities to meet the project objectives so if we consider the skills we are having we require multiple different types of skills in our project management say skill say communication negotiation problem solving motivation budgeting and so on so out of these skills here we are concentrating the project communication management communication is a great skill a communication can bring a project back on the track a communication can mal communication can destroy a project so that's why communication is very important so let us concentrate on this project communication management in this session effective communication plays vital role in the success of a project it bridges gap between the client and the organization among the team members as well as other stakeholders in the project such as the hardware supplier we know that stakeholders of a project is nothing but those persons who are getting positively or negatively affected by the execution of the project so whenever we are doing the requirement gathering at the very initial stage of the project so this requirement gathering should be done without any communication gap so there might be some communication gap while gathering the resource requirements so in that case what will happen after the going through the development process after proceeding to a certain limit we are finding that the requirement whatever we have implemented that was not communicated earlier due to some communication gap the communication gap between the team members the communication gap with the other persons that is the hardware suppliers so these are the communications should be done in a very systematic way so there should not be any miscommunication and we know that we are having this respective stakeholders also who are getting positively or negatively affected by the execution of the project so in between the stakeholders the respective communication gap should be none and there should not be any miscommunication and communication can be oral or written so communication management process may have the following steps so let us go through the steps for the better understanding so at first we are going for this planning so this step includes the identification of all the stakeholders in the project so at first we should identify all the stakeholders in the project and the respective mode of communication and the respective mode of communication among them it also considers if any additional communication facilities are required next one is the sharing after determining various aspects of planning manager focuses on sharing correct information with the correct person at the correct time so correct information should be propagated should be shared with the correct person who is actually responsible to uh, to have that respective communication at the correct time so the communication should not be delayed otherwise some different anomalies may come into the system this keeps everyone involved in the project up to date and with project progress and its respective status next one we are considering this feedback so project managers use various measures and feedback mechanism to create status and performance reports so let us suppose just consider different tasks are there so whenever we are doing the weekly study on those tasks or say day to day study on those tasks so these tasks can have say three different kinds of status so one is the in operation or ongoing and the one is say pending and the one is say finished so this sort of status reports must be communicated with the respective persons at the right time this mechanism ensures that input from various stakeholders is coming to the project manager as their feedback so the project manager should have the access or should have be getting all this respective stakeholders feedbacks so next one is the closer at the end of each major event or end of some phase of the respective sdlc or end of the project itself administrative closer is formally announced to update every stakeholder by sending email by distributing a hard copy of the document 
or by other means of effective communication. Whenever a project will get will get the closer or whenever a particular phase or the major activity is going to get a closer then obviously the respective stakeholders should get that information either through mail or using some special kind of formatted documentation. So, somehow uh, all the stakeholders and the related personnel should get those information at the right time in a properly documented way. So, after closure the team moves to the next phase or the next new project. So, in this way we have discussed that in our project how the communication management can be done. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.